YouTube was popping. Welcome back to another reaction video. Metallica, we're back on the ride, the lightning train. Uh, I want to say, I want to know, right? Listen, Metallica. I've had so many suggestions. They're just one of those bands. Like, there's certain bands that, uh, and there are like a couple songs here that people want to see. Metallica, honestly, I've just had so many suggestions, um, and it's like. It's hard to know, obviously, last time I did Spit Out the Bone, which was a newer song, which was interesting to see something newer after doing some older stuff. But um, I, I, I'm just going to go through them. I'm just going to go through them randomly. Um, not randomly, but like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to take one song at a time. Because I've, I've had, like that last video, I had um, someone suggest another song from the same album and it got a load of likes. Um, a different song from the same album and got a load of likes. Uh, I have people suggest stuff from like the older, like the first couple albums, obviously Ride the Lightning, Kill Em All, etc. I've had people suggest stuff from In The Middle, like, you know, Black Album and uh, St. Anger and stuff. I will get through stuff. It, there's just so many of them. There's so much to go through. And um, I don't know, I just wanted to mention it because I know there's people that are going to be waiting for like certain specific songs. Um, I, I will get to them. I'll get through them all. But um, there's a lot. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to mention that. That being said, though, um, Ride the Lightning, yeah, I, I've loved every song we've done off this album so far. Um, obviously, Fade to Black, I've mentioned before. I, I mean, I'm looking on Google Play now, 31 listens already. So, um, obviously, I quite like that song. From the Bell to Tolls, um, Creeping Death. It's just been good songs so far. So, I'm excited about this one. The title track, Ride the Lightning. Um, I guess let's just get into it without any further ado. Let's kick it. I still have my hair cut. I know. I know. Yeah. So someone in the in the electric chair, uh, which obviously you know being the title track as well the um, the the cover art so it ties in there, um, which obviously now makes sense. Ride the lightning because that's what he's doing. Um, he's getting he's get, getting electrocuted. It, what's interesting here though is um, it, it, it's almost like a commentary on it because he says um, yeah guilty is the first line guilty is charged but damn it ain't right. So obviously whatever he's done, I don't know, you know killed someone or, or whatever. He's guilty of the crime. He knows he's guilty of the crime, but he says, but it ain't right. Um, who made you God to say I'll take your life from you? So it's interesting because it's, um, you know, it's obviously he's saying he's guilty of the crime, whatever he's done, uh, fictionally. But he's saying that it, I guess it isn't right to, for them to take his life away, to, to judge, um, to play God almost, so to speak. Um, 
which obviously is 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 some of the people argue um we don't have um that's capital punishment right um we don't have we don't have that over in the uk um and it's always been a, 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 a debatable issue for quite a while um the lighting's weird on this one i'm like glowing a bit um yeah i don't know it's, it's a debatable issue it's, it's an interesting one d- d- do people deserve it? You know, if they've taken someone else's life, they deserve to have their life taken. Is that justice? Um, especially if they take, you know, more than one life, or you know, um, but then at the same time, who 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 are the the people in the justice system to decide that that person should die? It's an interesting one. I am curious um, what their opinion of if they're saying who made you god who wrote this um did, did james hetfield write it oh dave mustaine interesting cliff burton lars ulrich james hetfield to the whole crew um if, if they're if by saying that they're saying that they hold that opinion or if that's just if it's fictional if it's from their perspective um james hetfield we just got into some social topics the death penalty was a big question in the electric chair that's heavy what if that was you mistakenly another interesting point um, which has happened, I believe. Um, well, I mean, obviously, I feel like it's just obviously it's happened, but I feel like I've heard stories of it happening. Um, that's what the song was about, being accidentally found guilty and put to death with no way to stop it. It was just a matter of putting myself into other people's situations and trying to get his feelings out. So he's not necessarily saying that he holds that, but it's just kind of trying to him trying to see both sides, I guess. But then he says, um, um, that's what the song was about, being accidentally found guilty. Oh, guilty is charged, but damn it, it ain't right. So he's not necessarily saying... Well, I can't tell, because that to me implies that he, he's admitting that he's guilty, but maybe he's just saying that he was charged guilty, but even that's not right. He doesn't think it's right because he may be accused of crime he didn't commit. Or if he did commit it, he may not have done it under his own will. So I guess you could take that either way. It's interesting, though, regardless. It's an interesting thing to, to talk about. Uh, We'll keep going, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. I do get those quick. I, I just love, I just love a good Metallica solo, dude. This girl, who is that? Who is that? Can I find it anywhere? Guitar solo, pap, 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 Kirk Hammett. Many believe that Dave Mustaine composed most of the solo. 
I remember, then Kurt Campbell said, I remember I pretty much played that solo as it is off the bat. Um, actually, the only piece Dave contributed to this song is the pre-bridge spider riff. Anyway, listen. <laughs> I just love it. It's just like... I just love that... I've got to say as well, actually, I mean, first of all, the riff, badass, um, people didn't tell me that down picking is what makes it sound so so hard, um, I love it, but I, I wanted to say, actually, um, before I forgot, on because uh, I thought it before and then I forgot to say it on a pause, um, James is, is uh, inflection, uh, when he sings, some, when he delivers some of those lines, is like, really good in the context of the story, um, so which line, um, I think it's oh, oh please God help me. I think it was that one. The way the way he says it, he sort of um, he sort of screams it was to where like he's singing it and it sounds good, singing it. But it's like, it's almost like he's actually saying it. He's actually in the perspective of the character. Like he actually sounds like he's, you know, screaming it helplessly, so to speak. Um, as you know, you might if you were in that situation. Um, I just thought it was interesting the way he sings uh, some of these lines, like in 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 a way that is accurate to how it might sound in the situation, so to speak. Um, I just thought that was cool, and I wanted to mention it before, but I forgot to. Let's go. We'll, we'll play to the end now. bit of the end there okay yeah the framing was really bad on this one okay 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 good stuff good stuff another one on that album that just bangs it bangs dude was that half the album now it's eight songs and we've done four of them um what else have I seen traps under eyes and call of cthulhu seems suggested um yeah, it's just very good. It's just very good. I mean, the quality, the bar doesn't slip much from this early stuff so far. So this was the second album. Like I said, we've done, we've done four of the eight songs on it, and they've just all been great. They've just all been great. We love a good Metallica solo. As far as I'm concerned, from what I've heard so far, Metallica doesn't have a bad solo. From what I've heard so far. I don't have much else to add. I I, I like the, the, the theme and the story, and it's something we talked about before when... Um, you know, there's like a a message, so to, so to speak, like a discussion point um, where where they've done it quite well, where it's like um, they make a good point and give you something to think on, but it's also a great song in in itself. Um, it's like it's not just like oh here's a here's a message. Um, I cannot wait to get a haircut. I keep looking at it, and sometimes I look at it, and I'm like, ah, not too bad, but sometimes I'm like, ah, I need it. But every time it's been a day when I've been like, yeah, I'm going to go get a haircut today, I've looked in the mirror and gone, actually, it can last a bit longer. No, I draw the line here. 
I'm going for a haircut. It's Saturday. I'm going on Monday. I'm going on Monday. And if I don't, I'm going on Monday. Listen, it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Um, good little, good, good little message. Good little story. Well written, as it always is with with Metallica. Like the the, I guess the imagery. I get like you, you can imagine it. It's obviously from the perspective of this guy. But it's interesting because it's almost like telling a story, but the character. I mean, the story is there is a guy who is in an electric chair. And he's getting electrocuted. Like he's, he's sat in a chair, and yet they somehow made that an interesting an interesting story. Brilliant writing both lyrically and musically great song let's we'll keep going with metallica like i said there's plenty to do and i will get through it all um eventually eventually we'll work our way through we're jumping around a bit album to album but i'll get there thank you for watching i hope everyone enjoy i'll see you in the next one peace